Hey guys, John here, and boy am I excited to show you my new wheels for my 2022 Toyota Tundra. Let's take a look. So guys, these just got here maybe 30 minutes to an hour ago, and I could not wait to make a video for you guys. So tomorrow, I will be wrapping these in the 35 by 12 and a half Nitto Ridge Grapplers for this. But in this video, I just wanted to show you guys what I went with, because I'm super excited. So we have the Relations Race Wheels. That sounds familiar, right? Yep, because we got them on the Forerunner, and we also still have the Group Buy going right now. So speaking of the Group Buy, real quick, just in case you haven't heard, down in the description, 25 to 30% off wheels off of wheels that's literally buy three get one free you can buy up to five if you want you could get protection rings or no protection rings but link is down in the description but these rr6s are different than the rr7 hybrids that i have on the forerunner the main difference between the rr7s which are right here on the forerunner and the rr6s are the spokes so the rr7s has beveled spokes as you can see right there, it kind of like indents in a little bit and there's only 15 of them. On the RR6s, they're super smooth. I really like these. I think that they're gonna look good on the Tundra and there's 16 spokes. So the specs that I went with on these, they are their 17 by eight and a half, zero offset and they're six by 139.7. So they are for the Tundra or I could put them if I went onto the Forerunner, just different lug nuts, right? I went with bronze, as you guys can see. So in a video that I did a little bit ago, I was test fitting different tires onto this truck just to show the different offset. So again, that is why zero offset from RRW is a must. There may be positive offsets in the future, but zero offset for me for this truck uh, is gonna definitely be enough, especially with the 35s. Color wise in that video, what I'm getting at is we weren't able to do black. I think that black would look really good on this truck. I am gonna paint match the front. So gunmetal was kind of an option. I thought gunmetal looks really good on the truck just to give it a pop of color. And then the bronze that we test fit on this truck was very bronze. This bronze from RRW kind of has a hint of black into it because it's like a more matte black kind of finish. I mean, it's still bronze, but it has black hues to it. Like with the Forerunner, if you kind of like quickly look at it, it looks black. But then when sunlight is directly on it, it looks bronze. The wheels that I test fit on the Tundra, they were very, very bronze. So it kind of looked a little bit like Subaru rally car basically, but I think that these matte ones, man, just look at it right next to it. I think that they're gonna look really, really good. Went with 17s to show you guys how they will clear. So once we put the tires on it, I'm gonna have it in my garage. I'll show you guys all the clearance up close around the brake calipers. And then also we're gonna be putting the 35s on it, like I mentioned, with no lift. So we're gonna see how well the truck handles 35s for maybe a week or two uh, with no lift. Talk about potential rubbing, things that you may have to clear with a zero offset tire. And here's those Nittos for reference. So 35 by 12 and a half versus the stock 265s. 265, 70, are 18s on the stocks because it's an 18 inch wheel oh yeah can't wait so these just like the rr7s on my forerunner are also hybrids so these are protection ring compatible if i want to take the protection rings off of this and put it onto my tundra i can if I eventually want to run legitimate bead locks, yes, I can do that too, all with this one wheel. Or I can just enjoy its normal look like this with no protection rings, no bead locks, and just run it on the Tundra as you guys see it right here. So like I said, tomorrow I'll put the tires on it and then put it onto the Tundra, make a video for you guys. So make sure you definitely come back. If you're not subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss that. Returning subscribers, as always, I appreciate your guys' support and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, see you later.